Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got Jin Erso, this is the new updated... Well, it's just the face paint, really, that's been updated, I think. We'll take a look at them side by side with the original. But, um, nice to see these Rogue One figures finally hitting. Again, thanks to Bulletproof Villain for this. Um, first to get in Australia to get them, as far as I know, so that's awesome. It's so nice to see this Rogue One line coming into effect with the uh, new style packaging. Great picture of Jin Erso on the side there. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, the figure's looking really, really nice too. I kind of understand how these ones have got a reasonably limited release worldwide, the Rogue One figures, much like the Rebels ones. Because um, we have seen them before and, uh, you know, Jin Erso was one that sort of peg warmed for a little while, so I understand the sort of limited release so definitely one for the collectors to chase down if you want to update your figure from the from the old one and i'll do a little side by side afterwards so let's open the new one and uh yeah we'll go ahead and compare them all right folks here is Jin so out of the packaging not a lot different to the old one i've just given them a little bit of a look next to each other so i know what i'm talking about rather than just when you know, i'm going on the fly um, obviously the head sculpts are, you know, apples and oranges, the, the head, the sculpts there, but the, uh, the new paint apps has definitely done it, done a great service here. So let's just zoom up a little bit on the two. And yeah, you can really see the difference there. So yeah, not a different head sculpt. The head sculpt is exactly the same, just the application of the paint. It shows that the sculpts have always been there, just uh, what they're doing with the with the face paint these days is just absolutely awesome. So yeah, the only real dif difference I noticed throughout the two figures is the buckles and stuff were more of a sort of flat grey, whereas now they're a little bit more of a shiny silver, but otherwise, that's pretty much it in terms of colour differences. Um, this one, I do have a custom sort of thrown back hood sort of poncho sort of thing whereas this one comes with the sculpted version again but yeah I think that sort of face paint there on Jin looks absolutely awesome looks great it's done a great job great likeness for Felicity Jones I think she looks fantastic and still the one thing that really does bother me about this figure is the legs they just look a little bit I don't know Two sort of just plain straight legs. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't. It's just, it's a, it's a little weird. I'm not sure what it is, but um, yeah, just sort of a little bit rigid, I suppose. Not an overly sort of feminine sort of sculpt for the pose, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Is it that? Well, I don't. I don't know if it's that at all, but um. Yeah, there's something about it. I've seen a couple of people customise and change them around and swap them for other figures. Um, the only other sort of semi-issue I have with this one is with the new face paint. They haven't corrected the colour of the neck. They've kept the neck the same as the old face. So, it's, um, yeah, it's a very different shade. But um, again, I'm probably going to take off this custom sort of poncho sort of thing and put this on the new gin. Um, Try and do it now while I've got it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's already looking a better, a bit better. It covers up the neck, gives a little bit more of a sort of realistic poncho look. A little bit of blue tack on the back there, that's fine. And uh, yeah, I, I like the look of this one a lot better with that on it. it. Just adds a little bit more to the figure, I feel. Sort of poncho scarf sort of thing that's going on. That looks good. So yeah, really excited to add the rest of the figures to the wave. Now we've got Bodhi finally, which I did review a few days back. Um, hopefully Cassian will be here soon. I know a lot of people are looking forward to getting that Cassian, um, considering that one was only part of a three pack in, it was a Target exclusive in the US. I was lucky enough to get that while I was over in the States. Um, and yeah, an update to Baze and Chirrut to just look a little bit better. And hopefully down the line, we can get a uh, updated Director Krennic too, I think that would be fantastic. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this updated version of Jin Erso. Excuse me, I need a drink. <laughs> please sound out in the comments down below if you enjoyed the review. Please give the video a thumbs up. 
And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'm uh, heading home towards the 5,000, which is exciting. I'm hoping to get there this year, 2022. I'm you know, three or 400 away. I'm really looking forward to uh, hitting that little milestone if I can this year. I think that'd be really, really cool. So yeah, fantastic figure. I'm really, look, really looking forward to adding this one to the Rogue One shelf. And uh, yeah, again, with the new Cassian and stuff coming out, with uh, the Cassian Andor show coming out later this year, it'll be a great one for Rogue One stuff. So thank you very much for watching. Till next video, may the force be with you. Always.